since you mentioned being a like wanting to be a businesswoman, I did some research and found something that I wanted to share with you. Yeah. I'm so scared. <laughs> Look at this blazer. Are you showing it to us? Okay. Oh, shoot. Hold on. You gotta, you gotta show oh. your screen. Damn it. Just. It's okay. I always forget to. uh, Can you see it now? Oh my gosh. (laughs) This blazer. That one was off the end of the bat. Uh, for killing Nessie it Campbell. right here. Um, Look at you that bunting. Was good. That was good bunting. <laughs> Man, eyebrows, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Chez, in order to be a badass businesswoman, it's important to always wear a softball shirt and a blazer. <laughs> exactly. I know. I don't know why I didn't look uh, to that video for inspiration early on. That's when you knew. That's when you knew you were going to be a businesswoman. <laughs> no. That blazer no. softball shirt combo. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think I'm pretty positive you can. I mean, man, you've know how long, I feel like when did you and I start like knowing each other? Like uh, know, you know, knowing each other. Around that time, like 2011, I'd say. Yeah, that sounds mm-hmm. about right. Mm-hmm. You know, I I was someone, and every every single one of my friends can attest to this. Um, so insecure, like I feel like I was just fumbling over myself in life from the age of like thirteen to twenty five. 24, 24, 25, just like fumbling over myself, <laughs> like, um, just trying to f- figure out like me and it's a long journey and it never stops. But for the longest time, like I never thought I was smart. I never thought I could do big things for my life unless it was just playing softball. Um, the things that like I knew was that no one could ever like outwork me like my hustle could was always like unmatched but like when it came to after softball like what kind of hustle is there like putting three hours in the gym at that point doesn't do crap for me right like that doesn't help me put food on the table for my children um so i went through like a such a transitional period and instead of like searching for a career i like oh my gosh, this is so lame. I searched for like myself. Like I put Mm. things down of like who I wanted to be, like who did I see myself as? And yeah, like that clip you showed of me, that was 2011 Francesca, like figuring life out. And now I know, do not wear a softball shirt with a blazer. It looks a little silly. Like take, take the sparkle hair pusher headband off as well. Like you don't need to wear that. Like in the office. Um, But like through all of those trials and errors in life, I found myself where I'm at today and um, it's a completely different person. Still the same, I would say still the same values. Like I love so hard. I care so much about people. Like I, I always want someone who, if anyone's ever known me, like I have a goal for myself that I want to make sure that I make someone happy. Like, I want to bring a smile to their face. I am positive there are probably people out there who think I'm so annoying because I probably always have a smile on my face. <laughs> like, and if, and if you're out there, I totally get it. I would be annoyed too. But the thing is, though, sometimes just having a smile and having just kind of some surface level conversation, it makes, it does make people forget about some of their, their troubles, right? Like, yeah. I don't need to always have like heart to heart conversations with so-and-so that I only see so often. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you go into something joyful and positive, that, that shit rubs off. Yeah. And so like, it's, I, so I always just want to try to be super positive, but at the same time, like 
set, set myself up for success. And the biggest thing for me was like not letting people walk all over me. That was the hardest thing. I always wanted everyone to like me, right? Like yeah. I just wanted everyone to love me. Um, but I found I was just getting walked all over all the time for that. And it sucked. And I actually ended up like realizing that I don't have a lot of great quality people around me that are challenging me to be better, like challenging me to like stop letting people walk all over me. And it was truly, and you know, you know this, the, our, our homie, man, Megan Willis. Yeah, I know I you were going to go there. I give her all the credit. Like she, mm-hmm. like, she literally, I would say one day was just like, Fran, stop <laughs> letting me push you around. You're ridiculous. Grow a spine. And I looked just like, and then I'm like, well, I don't know how to react to that because you're challenging me to grow a spine, but like, you're kind of pushing me to do it. So like, but you don't want me to get pushed around anymore. Like what's mm-hmm. the like answer here? But she was right. Like I, I needed to find my voice and homegirl helped me find it. And I finally did at the age of 30. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's awesome. And what changed for you once you decided to make that change? Man, I just have such better conversations with people. People know what to expect from me. Here's my favorite thing. This guy said this to me about uh, my job the uh, last week. I went into this meeting with this new person and the guy told me that, um, who set this meeting up for us to, that I might be a little scary, but just come prepared. And I was like, what the hell does that mean? So like I slacked my friend uh he's a baseball guy he does baseball stuff for blast and i was like do you think i'm scary <laughs> and he was like oh 100 percent for sure i was like what like here i am thinking like my goal is to be positive and bring smiles yeah. to people's faces and yet i'm being told that i'm kind of scary and he was like well scary is not the right term and this is actually a compliment when people when i have a meeting with you or when people in our company have a meeting with you we know that we need to come prepared and I was like, well, duh, like, that's it. <laughs> like, you need to come prepared. You need to like know your, your stuff. How, like, like, and like, that was my response. Like, how is that acceptable for, acceptable for you guys? And so I think it's just been like, so important for me to speak my mind, but do so in a manner of like, listen, like if we're all trying to achieve the same goal, I need to be able to call you out for not holding your own weight. That's yeah. something I wouldn't have done when I played softball. I always deemed myself a leader, but looking back, I was just like a people person leader. I, I would say I led by example and I had this cheery, cheery voice and I'd lead the cheers. But like, if I saw someone slacking off and like not putting in the work, like no way I had the, the backbone to say something to them. I never would. Is that because you didn't know how to, or you were scared to? Scared. I didn't want to lose him as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> now, but it's at the time, like in college and travel ball, you know, that's like years where you are like bridging friendships and your friendships are important, right? Now, like as I'm older, you know, I don't need to be friends with everybody, but we need to do well at our job, our team, our goal, whatever our goals are, we like, we need to do this collectively together. So I'm going to try to make sure I get the best out of every person there is out there. Mm -hmm. So if someone, if I feel like is slacking, well, then we need to get to the root of the problem. And that's where communication really does come into key or uh, come in huge here because no one likes to be told that they're doing something wrong. But if you're doing something wrong, it needs to be pointed out, unfortunately. So um, it's helped me the sense of finding my own backbone. People take me more seriously. They know that when I speak that they should listen up because I don't talk just to talk. Um, And they just, they just, they respect me. You know, Mm -hmm. I I don't, I think like one of the biggest things someone told me was like, do you want to be liked or do you want to be respected? And I would say my old, like this job I had before Blast, I wanted to be liked. And when I came into this job, I was like, I want to be respected. And Mm -hmm. if that means, you know, I don't, I'm not best friends with everyone, who the freak cares? 
I got a yeah. lot of good friends. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's saying like, I have a lot of good friends. I have a few like freaking awesome friends that are yeah. in my support. So if someone doesn't like me because of my hustle or because I'm doing what's right, then that's on them, not me. Right on. Yeah, Fran. 